Hello everyone, welcome to Algorithmic Finance. On this video, we will learn how we can get data from candlesticks and how we can use them when we are creating expert advisor, when we are uh, decide to take an action, when we will decide to take an position based on the candlestick like for example if two candle on a road is bullish so open buy position or open sell position or if three candles on a road will go bullish buy so i just i would like to open short position because i think market already move up enough such a kind of example so we can create millions of uh, strategies based on the candlesticks the shape and the size and etc for this, on this video, we will learn how we can get this data on MQL5. So also we'll, we will cover the things that we learned earlier classes. So it will just kind of, it will also kind of reminding videos, but we will learn this candlesticks data. So to be able to do all, I need to move on MQL5 meta editor window. Here I can click ID button. As you see, the shortcut F4 button also goes directly there. So this is meta editor window. In meta editor window, everything that we can do in MetaTrader 5 terminal, we can also do meta editor window by writing these codes, what we needed. So, okay, now it's time to create new expert advisor. New, new expert advisor template I will put. This next, and I will put candle. next and i will not mark and i will we will cover this later and at end so this is template file so this is the place that i will be writing codes so now let's learn how we can get the close price of last candle this is this is daily as you can see this is daily chart control f i can bring this or from here i can bring so this is current and this is the close one. I want to be able to get this close price of this candle. So for MetaTrader 5 terminal to be able to get this data with data window. As you see, this data window, whenever I wherever I stop my cursor, as you see, the close price 181.63. So this is the close price. If I want to give decision based on this price, I need to get this price with MQL5. So here, let's start with alert. The one who get into algorithmic trading with this video will just be what's so short cover. I compiled and name of expert advisor view, navigator, expert, and candle. When I draw and drop, as you see, we get the alert is hello this pop up come up with hello so now i want not hello i want the close price for this i we need, we have this function i close so this i close function will give me the close price in certain parameters after we defined we'll get this close price of uh, candles that we defined as you see it asks symbol. So if I put this symbol part null, which means this will give me the expert that we are working on. And period current is also will give us this current symbol and current period. And again, now it's time shift. Shift means on screen there are too many candles. Which one I want to get? Zero is this current one. One, two, three, four, like this way. This way it will go down. So what we need is one. It's close candle. And I close parentheses of alert function and I compiled. As you see, we get zero error when I go F4. As you see, this time we get the close price of this current chart 181.63. So now let's get the open price. E open. I only change function. All parameters are same. Symbol, period, and shift. Compiled. This time, let's go check F4. As you see, write up uh, open price 181.28 on NVIDIA price. 
this is the price that we get now i can define if close candle is bullish candle which means that close price is bigger than open price which means this market has moved up on this uh, candle time frame so then i decide to open buy position so we will write this code now and just before this two little exercise for example i go m1 and when i go m1 one minute chart it just it gives me the the close price of one minute if i want to change like gold as you see this time it gave me the price of gold so that's why this null and period current is working this way so it just gives us flexibility so we don't have to stack in certain symbol or certain uh, time period i can easily change it okay so to be able to open position i need to include trade library after I include trade library, so I delete this and now I go on tick function. So after I define trade library and I call my class trade, when I put trade dot buy, here I want to open buy position. One lot, the current symbol. Uh, here it asks price, so if I am opening buy position, I should put symbol ask price, ask price I get, stop loss, take profit, and comment I don't define. So my opening position code is ready, so I compiled, and now it doesn't open position because I didn't let algo trading. So still algo trading is not active because when I draw and drop, I didn't let this expert can open position. To be able to change this expert list candle properties, I let I let algo trading on. And when I just let here, as you see, it starts open position, but it start too many position because I didn't put any limitation at all. So for this, I will put if position total current position that account has smaller than one, which means there is no if there is no open position, it will open by position. I close all and I let algo trading. You see, it opened one position. Let's do if there is no open position. If e close bigger than e open, this definition means bullish candle because close price of candle bigger than open price, then it has to open one lot position and meanwhile position total has to be smaller than one which means there, there shouldn't be any open position now there is open position when i close you see it opened again because this time frame the close is bullish candle so let's change let's clean this position All this opening position will put arrow on chart. Okay. So if close price bigger than open price, then it should open one not by position. See this time it didn't open position because this curl close close candle, as you see this bearish candle. So the the price open price here close price here close price is smaller than uh, open price and here it should open sell position but we didn't define we only defined buy position so i change like one minute chart you see when i just move one minute chart in one minute a uh, close candle is bullish candle so it's close price is bigger than open price it open position directly Okay, let's see how we can backtest this system. F4 view strategy tester. Visualize the name of expert advisor is candle. I go, I just pick up Euro USD. 
and I start. So within the minutes that I start, it just opened position. Why? Because its current candle and the close candle was up. So let's change to daily and four hours. And again, it's not opened. Let's look daily. Okay, this time, as you see, this just because this close day, the market went down. It didn't open position. I move this forward. It will not open this time. If it closed, yes. So when closed candle was go, went up, as you see, the, the bullish candle, uh, it created buy position. So now we only defined open buy position. We didn't put stop loss. We didn't put how we can sell position or trailing stop. And the dynamic lot size is changing based on equity, etc. So we can define millions of different parameters. On this video, we'll learn how we can do the simple expert advisor. So basic, so maybe we, we, we can't use this only with this, but it will it will give us hands when we are creating a more complicated system that we will be creating next videos. So that's all for this videos. In next video, we will also keep learning new function, new definition on MetaTrader 5, MQL 5 to be able to create our own algorithmic trading system better way and efficient way. So before I close the video, I would like to mention Pepperstone that who supports our videos. So Pepperstone is the global broker that you can trade more than 1,700 products, including United States stocks as CFT, currency pairs such as Euro, Euro USD, sterling dollar and precious metals and cryptocurrencies such as kind. There are many different products that you can trade with and you don't have to trade on MetaTrader 5 or MetaTrader 4. You can also trade trading with C Trade and Web Terminal that they have. So to be able to know more about Pepperstone, please go the video description link and you can check in website. So based on your need and your expectation. So thank you for listening. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.